Authorities say Stephen Paddock, of Mesquite, Nevada, booked room 32135, a large suite with uninterrupted views of the iconic strip last Thursday. Now those expansive windows show the vantage points of a man who killed at least 58 people and injured nearly 500 at a music festival being held across the street on Sunday night. Police found a trove of 23 firearms and the gunman's body inside. With the investigation ongoing, it is still far too early for MGM Resorts International, the hospitality company that owns and operates the luxury resort and casino, to comment publicly about what will become of the room paddock booked. Security continues to be a top priority at all of MGM resorts as our security team is working tirelessly to protect the safety of our guests and facilities, MGM resorts spokesperson Deborah DeShong said in a statement. MGM Resorts works consistently with local and national law enforcement agencies to keep procedures at our resorts up to date, and are always improving and evolving, Deshong added. We continue that close working relationship now during the ongoing investigation into this tragic incident. Sunil Atria, an associate professor at the College of Hospitality Management at Johnson and Wales University, has worked in management for the Welcome Group chain of hotels in India as well as the Marriott and Holiday Inn in the U.S. based on his experience, he said, the room will be gutted, refurbished and renumbered, at a minimum, or transformed into something else, such as storage space or a boardroom. He suggested that Mandalay Bay would likely refurbish the entire floor. He said guests on the 32nd floor have likely been moved, or are in the process of being moved to other rooms so that the entire floor can be blocked off but also said that something else needs to be handled immediately. In the past, hotels have taken pains to make sure that rooms where people died do not become objects of morbid curiosity or reminders of something awful. The Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, for example, temporarily took suite 434 out of rotation in February 2012 after acclaimed singer Whitney Houston was found dead in the accommodation.